Jesus and believe by faith and you can go to heaven. And when you go to heaven through Jesus Christ alone, you will not go to hell. You'll never be cursed. You'll never be rejected by God by believing by faith in Jesus. And the Bible says we can't even fathom what heaven's going to be like. I will come to the very point of a needle when I start speaking about what heaven's like because I've never been to heaven. And the Bible says to the, I, I don't know the verse, the things that God has prepared for us is unbelievable. And you won't witness it if you won't believe in Jesus. Because to get to heaven, you've got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That the Bible says in heaven is God. In heaven is the Lord Jesus Christ. In heaven is the Holy Spirit. In heaven is God's throne. A holy and righteous throne. And there's a river of light. And on either side of the river, there's trees of light that never die. And you will never need a rake or a leaf blower in heaven. There is no more sin in heaven. And there's no death in heaven because the Bible says the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death, and when there is no sin in heaven, there's no death. You don't die. There's no cemeteries or graveyards in heaven through Jesus Christ. Good morning, ma'am. Have a good day. There's no ambulances. There's no hospitals. There's no health care. There's no cancer. There's no diseases. There's no emergency room. There's no medical issues in heaven when you put your faith and trust in Jesus. You won't need band-aids. You won't need a pharmacy. You won't need canes and wheelchairs. All the curse of the sin of Adam and Eve are gone, are cleansed, are made pure by the finished work of Jesus. And the finished work of Jesus is that he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures that the Bible says in Revelation 21 or 22, I forget, God shall wipe away all our tears. There will come a day in heaven there's no tears. There's no sorrow. There's no pain. There's no suffering through Jesus when we get to heaven. 
You be foolish to reject the finished work of Jesus Christ and all the benefits of heaven. You won't have to listen to this garbage music in heaven. You won't have to believe to, to breathe in pollution. There's no ailments in heaven through Jesus Christ. God has an eternal, wonderful, great, holy paradise unlike this planet Earth and it's all free. And the Republicans can't give it to you and the Democrats can't give it to you and the grocery store can't give it to you and the pharmacy can't give it to you but Jesus Christ can give it to you if you only trust, obey, and believe in the finished work of Jesus. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That life is in Jesus Christ. That you can live forever in peace through Jesus and go to heaven or you can reject Jesus Christ and go to hell and forever to be torments and pain and suffering because you said no to Jesus. You're not saying no to the preacher. You're not hating the preacher. You're hating God. All I'm doing is speaking God's word. All I'm doing is telling you what God says. And you rejected God. And you reject Jesus Christ. And there's eternal life coming after you. Death is not it. Death doesn't finish everything. In the Bible, there's an afterlife. There's a heaven through Jesus Christ, and there's a hell by rejecting Jesus. And you need not to go to hell. You don't have to go to hell. Going to hell is your choice, not God's. God's not willing that any should perish. God is wanting you and inviting you by the preaching that you are hearing today that Jesus Christ saves. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father. But by Jesus Christ alone.